Hey y'all, it's Angela. I'm here with a review <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice. I had a uh, subscriber ask for a review on the uh, soft lips that I had um, hauled. Anyway, this is not just the regular soft lips. This is the pearl. So I don't have anything on my lips. I just went through and um, washed my face off with these that I had reviewed. So, this is what color it is. It's kind of a pinkish color. And let's see. I'll just do the bottom. And that's the difference between my natural lip and the, um, the lip gloss. So that's what it looks like. As far as um, moisturizing and hydrating, it's, it's great. For some reason, the soft lips always have, I, I don't know if they have something in them, but I always get like a tingling feeling. Not a bad tingling feeling. Almost like um, like a menthol type tingling feeling. I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. But I don't feel like this color is right for me. But as far as soft lips go, it, it works. I mean, it's nice and hydrating and everything, but for me, it's just not the right color. So, it probably will go through to my daughter. Okay, if Anna Claire lets me, I thought I would actually show y'all how I do my makeup because I pretty much use all uh, Dollar Tree products. And I am going to try some of them out that I haven't tried out. The um, I have not tried this mascara, the Wet n Wild um, Enhance and Define. Full healthy lashes, soy protein enriched with panthenol. Um, usually, when it comes to mascara, <clears throat> that is one thing I splurge on. Not really splurge because it's still Walmart and it's still cheap, but I like it. This here is what I use. Um, it's the Maybelline, um, the Colossal Volume, is what it is, and it and I just use black. I don't get creative with colors or anything. Usually, I use the Wet n Wild um, Black Eyeliner, but I bought these uh, Color Mates, and this is in, whoops, I ripped it off. This is a brown black. It doesn't say it on here anymore because I ripped it off, but let's see if this says it on here. Black brown. So... This is what I'm going to try out. Okay, my makeup routine, very, very simple. I use the ponds. I talked about this when I did the face mask. I just put ponds all over my face. This is the um, dry skin cream. I was thinking it was for sensitive skin, but it doesn't say that. And I don't know. I might have to pause this and the clear might start fussing. But I just use that all over my face. I find that it helps my dry skin. I do have dry skin. And that is why I do not use foundation. <clears throat> I use foundation, I think up until I was like 24 or 26. I'm 37 now. So for the past at least 10 years, I have not used foundation. I just felt with um, foundation and powder, you could just like, my, my skin, it would just, it would peel. And I mean, I was using Clinique. When I was 16, my mom took me to Clinique and splurged and for my birthday. And we got everything Clinique. Um, the skincare, everything, you know. And uh, probably the past, when I was working at Walmart, I was pretty, I'm pretty sure I was using um, Dollar Tree makeup then. And that was back in 2006. So for the past 11 years, I've been using Dollar Tree makeup. And I've been, it's actually been for the past, since 20, yeah, since I was 26. I don't wear foundation since then. I just, I feel like my skin does better without it. <clears throat> okay. So I just use the Pons. 
And I just take the eyeliner. Sorry, I'm going to get up close and personal with y'all. Since this is the black brown, I feel like I'm having to use a little more than what I do um, when I do the black. I just thought I would try this out while I'm making the video. And I'm going to be using brown um, eyeshadows, so it'll work with the, um, the, brown, the black brown or whatever it's called. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what mine looks like. Yeah, you can see which colors I use. I have dropped this. It's been cracked. It's broke. But that's what I use. Okay, I use... I love the um, the wet and mild brushes. <clears throat> I think this one is called the angled brush. Okay, so this is what I use to kind of go right there above my... Um, where the... Um, eyeliner is and I, I do get a good bit of it and I just put it on the lower lid I guess you can call it and this is something new I've just started doing too Actually, I used to do this back a long time ago, but I quit doing it. But now I'm going to do it again. Where my eye kind of bends in, I'm going to just do like a line like that. And again, right here, just going to kind of follow the eye like that. Okay. I'm not sure what this brush is called, but it's this brush. <laughs> It's not as uh, stiff as the other two brushes. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this color. Okay, and then I just kind of go right here and make a wiping, uh, wiper, like windshield wiper motion, and go back and forth and kind of blend that. And again, windshield wiper motion. Blend that, and that does not usually happen. I don't usually get stuff right there, and that might be a shadow. Maybe I don't have something right there. Maybe it's just a shadow. It's hard to tell with with the lighting in here. I'm usually put my makeup on in the bathroom. Okay, and then I use this brush, and this this is kind of a stiffer brush, and I choose one of my highlights. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the white one so you can see it better. I feel like the other two highlights kind of blend in so you can't really see it. The white I tend to use when I use the smoky pa palette, which is like the blues and uh, grays. And again, I load up on it. And then I just kind of angle it like this. And then blend it in like that. And now I'm going to try this new mascara. We'll see how it goes. And this is just the very black mascara. Okay, let's see. This is what the brush looks like. It's not a fat one. It's kind of a long, skinny brush. Okay, for comparison, 
I'm going to use what I normally use on the other eye. <clears throat> This is what the Colossal Brush looks like. And this, actually I need to open up a new one. This one's about dried out, getting low. Okay, so it's probably hard to tell a difference, but I feel like the uh, wet and wild just does not do the job. This is the colossal side. I mean, here, I'll, I'll give it a fair try. I'll put more on this side. But again, it's a puny little brush. I mean, you see, I'm really trying my best to load it up. It's just not there. You can't see. So, this, I guess, is good if you're desperate and you keep it in the car or something. If you forget to put makeup on, you need to put some mascara on. but Or give it to your kid who's just playing with, make, you know, new to makeup. But, yeah, it's... It's, that will not be a repurchase personally for me. I just thought for a dollar I would try it. Because this is like six dollars I think. Okay. There we go. And um, I don't use lipstick because if I use lipstick my lips peel with it and it just rolls off. I have not tried lips since. But I've tried those other brands where you put it on and it kind of dries and it sets and then you put the gloss and it just never works for me. I just like the EOS. That's what I like. And that's just what I use. And I can't, I think this is blackberry vanilla or something like that. Usually I like the sweet mint, but I think I was having problems finding the sweet mint. So that's why I bought this. I mean, I have since found the sweet mint, but I'm just trying to use this up. I do not use blush. As you see, I kind of have a redness to my skin already. And it does not bother me personally. And that's why I don't bother covering it up. Because I feel like where my skin is red, I would be accenting it with blush anyway. And I've, um, I mean, people have complimented me on my makeup. I've never had anybody say, hey, you know, your skin's kind of red. You should cover it up with some foundation. So that's just, that's how I do my makeup. Just quick and simple um, eyeliner, eyeshadow, mascara, and lip balm. That is it. That's all I use. I hope this, um, it's not really a tutorial, but it's kind of a review and I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, click below and subscribe, please. And then go over and click on the 411 on Fun Friday. Fun Friday will be a weekly drawing. This is a big thing. I have had a lot of com uh, comments. Th this thing is just huge, so it's hard to tell. But yeah, that's all the comments so far. I've got little um, tickets with everybody's names on them. Oh, and just to let you know, if it takes me a while to um, heart your comment. It's because I'm in a place or holding in a clear or something, and I do not like to heart or love your comments until I can write your name down to put in the uh, Fun Friday jar thing. So, whenever I do love the comment, it means that I wrote your name on the ticket, and it's officially in. Um, it's an official entry. Anyway, um, probably, I don't know if I'll make another video today or not, but I will see y'all next video. We'll just say that. Uh, thank you all to all my subscribers. I'm at 151 right now, I think. And I'm just amazed. I think my channel is only five weeks old. So, I'm just, not to sound cl cliche, but I'm like, you like me. You really like me. 
But I love you all. And again, thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see y'all next video. Love you. Bye.